Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is James and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. All right, today I want to share with you my thoughts on a recent release from the Criterion Collection. This just came out on 4K Ultra HD. It is an upgrade over an existing Blu-ray in the collection at spy number 834 and it is the feature film debut of the Coen Brothers, Joel and Ethan Coen from 1984, Blood Simple. This has just now come out on 4K Ultra HD from the Criterion Collection, and I want to take a few minutes to share with you what I think about this movie, what I think about the picture quality on 4K. It's come out on 4K with Dolby Vision, the 5.1 surround track, and it's got a collection of special features. So I want to share with you what I think about this edition, but also I want to share with you a perspective on Okay, this is now a 4K upgrade over the 2016 Blu-ray that came out in 2016. So if you already have this 2016 Blu-ray, is it a worthwhile upgrade to get the 4K or are you good to just stick with the Blu-ray you have? So I'll try to answer that in this video as well. So on the other side of this, we'll talk about this new edition of Blood Simple and what I think about it. So without any further ado, let's go. All right, so let's talk about Blood Simple from Joel and Ethan Cohen in the Criterion Collection. This is the 1984 feature film debut star, uh, from these brothers. And this is, if you like films from the Cohen brothers, which I do, for me, Blood Simple is like number three on my list of favorite Cohen brothers films. Of course, my favorite Cohen brothers film is this one here from 2007, No Country for Old Men, all time classic. If you have not seen No Country for Old Men, Definitely check it out. This film won Best Picture. It also won Best Supporting Actor for Javier Bardem. An absolutely extraordinary neo-noir set in Texas, similar to Blood Simple, but an amazing film, highly recommended. Tommy Lee Jones is awesome in this, Josh Brolin is awesome, and Javier Bardem plays one, one of the most scary villains you will ever see in any movie. No Country for Old Men. I'm hoping it gets a 4K release sometime this year, fingers crossed. And then, of course, I upgraded Fargo to 4K Ultra HD over this old Blu-ray. This uh, new 4K is based on a new 4K scan and restoration of the original camera negative. So I'm looking forward to checking out how that looks on 4K. But today I want to talk with you about the 4K edition of Blood Simple. So this is a film that I really love from Joel and Ethan Cohen. It's their feature debut. And in watching this film, you do get to see their filmmaking style that has carried over to so many other films that they made in future years. And you just see how it all began. And it's just an absolutely wonderful neo-noir film with a simple premise. You have this, this sleazy bar owner who is played by Dan Hedaya. He plays a character named Marty. He's a, he's a owner of a sleazy bar set somewhere in Texas. And one of his employees played by John Getz, he plays Ray. He's having an affair with Marty's wife, Abby. So the bar owner's employees having an affair with his wife. And he then decides, you know, I think I'm going to hire this private investigator played by M. Emmett Walsh. I'm going to hire this investigator to have them killed. So that's the basic premise of Blood Simple, and it works beautifully. It's a cat and mouse game. The story goes into some twists and turns that you may not expect, and I just love it. it I just love the simplicity of this film and just love how this film plays out, and I can just watch it over and over again. And it has a wonderful musical score by Carter Burwell, a piano score that plays throughout most of the film that really lends to the atmosphere of how this film makes you feel when you're watching it. So really love this movie. But let me just read the back of the Criterion case because they always do a good job of describing these films. So let's read this. Joel and Ethan Cohen's career long, darkly comic road trip through Misfit America began with this razor sharp, hard boiled neo noir set somewhere in Texas where a sleazy bar owner releases a torrent of violence with one murderous thought. Actor M. Emmett Walsh looms over the proceedings as a slippery private eye with a yellow suit, a cowboy hat, and no moral compass. 
You ain't kidding. And Frances McDormand's cunning debut performance set her on the road to stardom. The tight scripting and inventive style that have marked the Coen's work for decades are all here in their first film, in which cinematographer Barry Sonnenfeld abandons black and white Chiriosco for neon signs and jukebox colors that combine with Carter Bruwell's haunting score to lurid and thrilling effect, blending elements from pulp fiction and low-budget horror flicks, Blood Simple reinvented the film noir for a new generation, marking the arrival of a filmmaking ensemble that would transform the American independent cinema scene. Absolutely. Great description of this film. You definitely see the markings of the Coen Brothers filmmaking style in this very first film, Blood Simple. And, and it carries over to their other films. I mean, it, it really is, including, for example, the, when it opens up, you have a little monologue read by M. Emmett Walsh, and you see pictures of the Texas landscape, very similar to the opening moments of No Country for Old Men that came out in 2007, so you're talking 23 years later, very similar to the opening monologue from Tommy Lee Jones that opens this film here and just many other filmmaking style elements that play into future Coen Brothers films. Just great stuff. But this film itself is just absolutely enjoyable. I love all the characters. I love Frances McDormand's character. She plays Abby. She's the wife of Dan Hedaya's character, Marty. You can tell Marty's a sleazy guy. The private investigator played by M. Emmett Walsh, he's sleazy. John Guess's Ray is sleazy. Everybody... There are no really good people in this movie. And that's part of what makes this film so, so good. You know that Marty's a bad guy, but Abby's not a, a good person either. And neither is Ray. They're all just kind of sleazy people doing, you know, bad things. And that's part of the elements of a, of a good noir film. And this is a great example of the modern film noir that I think you'll enjoy. If you like noir films, if you like Joel and Ethan Cohen's films, you're going to love blood simple and i can definitely recommend it so as a film this this movie works for me i could watch this movie over and over again it's one of my favorite films from the coen brothers now let's talk a little bit about the package of course you see here you have the front of the case you have the back of the case it's a two disc special edition you get your 4k right here your blu-ray right here you get a fold out and this fold-out has, or before I get to the fold-out, look at this nice picture here of Francis McDormand and Dan Hedaya's character right here. Nice. But you get this fold-out here, which has some pictures from the film. And these different pictures are symbolic moments in this film. But you have a wonderful essay, Down Here You're On Your Own by Nathaniel Rich. Picture there, the sleazy private eye M. Emmett Walsh there. His character is so sleazy in this movie. I mean, so sleazy. I mean, but you will love it. You will love it. I mean, and you, it's, the way that these characters make you feel is, is really something. From Marty, to the private investigator, to Ray, to Abby. Those four characters all deliver in this movie. But this is a very, very nice package. Now, in terms of how does this film look on 4K Ultra HD, it looks very, very nice. This is a beautiful picture based on a 4K restoration that was used for the original Blu-ray back in 2016. So they took that same restoration to put on this 4K disc with Dolby Vision, and it looks very nice. I mean, you have that Dolby Vision adding to the dynamic range and giving you some really nice colors, which is great with those neon colors in the bar. It, it, it just really adds a little bit more touch or punch to the colors in this presentation. You get a little bit more detail with that uptick in resolution going to 4K. And overall, it is a very beautiful looking 4K image. It's a beautiful restoration of a film from the early to mid 1980s. It's not the sharpest film in the world, but it looks absolutely beautiful on 4K Ultra HD. I think it's a beautiful restoration and it just looks great on this disc. I think the film grain is resolved very well and you're getting a very clean looking image. So I, you know, I have nothing but great things to say about how this looks on 4K 
on this disc from the Criterion Collection. Very nice presentation of Blood Simple. Now, the question that some people are gonna have is how much of an upgrade is this 4K over the Blu-ray edition that came out in 2016? And what I would tell you is, this is the Blu-ray edition from 2016. At the time it came out, it was based on a new on a new restored 4K digital transfer. So it was based on a 4K digital transfer. It came out in 2016. It was a new restoration, and this was a great looking Blu-ray. It is a great looking Blu-ray. And what I would tell you is, while this 4K is an upgrade over the Blu-ray edition that came out in 2016, it's not a head and shoulders upgrade. Hey there, I'm gonna record this last part separately. I had a little bit of an interruption, so I had to, to cut the recording of my first part there. So I'm gonna record this last part of this video separately a few hours later. Hope you don't mind that. So I'm gonna kind of piece these two pieces of video together as seamlessly as possible. And I know where I left off, I was talking about the comparison between the new 4K and the Blu-ray, the picture quality. Is it worth an upgrade? And essentially, to be completely honest with you, this new 4K, it is a step up in overall quality from the original Blu-ray, but the differences in the picture quality are not incredibly significant. This Blu-ray from 2016 was based off of that 4K restoration, and it is absolutely fantastic. That same 4K restor restoration was used for this 4K edition. So it's the same 4K restoration. They did a really good job when they put out the original Blu-ray. That same restoration is used for the 4K. And so you're getting the benefit of that added resolution, giving you a little bit of a bump up in detail, though not really significant from a detail standpoint but you're getting that Dolby Vision HDR, which is giving you a little bit more punch and vibrancy in the colors, giving you a little bit more dynamic range. So that does help the picture as well. And you're getting an overall more, more confident, slightly bolder image with this 4K picture. It's not substantially better than the Blu-ray. So I think the two, you know, you can kind of go either way with an edition like this. If you already have the Blu-ray edition, on Criterion, if you already have this edition, it's really not an essential upgrade to go to the 4K. It's not that much of an upgrade. Now, that's based upon my judgment and my eyes looking at my TV here on the main level, uh, you know, upstairs here and the one downstairs that I was doing my original recording on. So I looked at it on both of those televisions that did, did back and forth comparisons between the Blu-ray and the 4K with HDR, without HDR. And honestly, you know, while just while I would say definitely the 4K is a slight uptick in overall picture quality, it's just not enough that I can sit here and tell you that it's a substantial upgrade that you absolutely need to get. If you already have the Blu-ray edition, you're perfectly fine to stick with that Blu-ray edition. Now, if you don't already have Blood Simple on physical media, I would definitely recommend picking it up either on the Blu-ray or on the 4K. The movie is fantastic. You have a nice set of special features that I'll talk about in just a second, but just a fantastic feature debut from the Coen brothers that I highly recommend. So whether you get the Blu-ray or you get the 4K, you're getting a great addition from Criterion. You're getting the exact same special features, and those features include a conversation between Sonnenfeld and the Coens about the film's look, featuring some Telestrator video illustrations. So that's a very good feature. A conversation between author Dave Eggers and the Coens about the film's production from inception to release. You're also getting interviews with the composer, Francis McDormand, M. Emmett Walsh, the sound editor, Skip Levesay. And of course, as I, I may have mentioned in the first uh, shooting of this video, of course on the inside, you get this beautiful stuff here. Beautiful look, the, the, the two uh, discs here and your nice fold out. But in this fold out, you are getting this nice essay down here, You're On Your Own by Nathaniel Rich, which is great. It's always nice to read these wonderful essays and these Criterion editions. This is no exception. Here's M. Emmett Walsh screaming at a very visceral moment in this movie. This movie is so good. I definitely recommend it. Whatever edition you get, you're gonna get one awesome film from the Coen brothers. And I simply cannot recommend 
Blood Simple enough. But let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about Blood Simple? What do you think about other Joel and Ethan Cohen films? What are your favorite films from the Cohen brothers? Let me know that in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. Peace.